This is BBC One. Now, the news with Peter Sissons. It's 8.45. Frederick West, charged with 12 murders, has been found dead in his prison cell. The Gloucester builder was found hanging by prison staff. An inquiry has begun. The battle for Grozny rages on. The Chechens refuse to yield. And England's veterans fail again when it matters most. Good evening. Frederick West, the Gloucester builder whose home concealed nine corpses, has been found dead, hanging in his prison cell at Winston Green Jail in Birmingham. He'd been in custody for nearly a year, accused of a total of 12 murders, and committal proceedings were due to start next month. His wife, who's charged with nine murders, was told of his death this afternoon. Fred West was last brought to court in Gloucester in mid-December. He was due to reappear on January the 10th, and then again at formal committal proceedings in early February. This lunchtime at Winston Green Prison, prison officers found him hanging in his cell, according to prison service sources, from clothing fixed above the door. Attempts were made to resuscitate the man accused of the Cromwell Street murders, but a doctor certified him dead shortly before half past one. The death of the 53-year-old builder is being investigated by West Midlands Police with assistance from the Gloucestershire Constabulary. Do you understand it to be a suicide? Well, we're looking into uh, a, a, a death and uh, I, th I think suffice to say at, uh, at this stage that we have to keep uh, all options open, uh, although that uh, may well be uh, the case at the end of the day. Rosemary West, Fred West's wife, who's accused of nine of the murders, was told of her husband's death by her solicitor, Leo Goatley. He visited her at the women's wing of Puckle Church Prison near Bristol. This evening, one of Fred West's brothers said he was very shocked by the news. Excuse me, brother. And I still always remember him as he was. And that's it. From some in Cromwell Street itself, though, there's little sympathy. I'm glad. Very glad. The arrest of Fred West triggered one of the biggest police investigations in modern times. West was detained in late February last year with his wife by police investigating the disappearance of their 16-year-old daughter, Heather, who was last seen alive in 1987. Shortly afterwards, police using digging equipment found Heather's remains in the back garden of number 25 Cromwell Street, Gloucester, an address that was to become known as the House of Horror. Within days, the remains of two more bodies had been found in the garden. More grim discoveries followed. Other remains were discovered hidden in the cellar and bathroom areas. In all, nine sets were found at the address. The digging then switched to other locations, including fields near the village of Much Markle. The remains of three more bodies were found, including those of Catherine Costello, Fred West's first wife. Inevitably, questions are being asked about how the death of such a high-profile prisoner could occur. West, who's said to have been unpopular with other inmates, wasn't segregated, but the prison service says he did receive regular checks. Opposition parties are attacking the Home Secretary over another prison security lapse. The police are telling the media to do nothing that could damage Rosemary West's chances of a fair trial. I recognise the reporting of the death of Mr West is a matter of public interest. But the same public interest demands responsible reporting by the media to ensure that the trial of Mrs West is not prejudiced in any way. A post-mortem on West is being held tonight. It's not clear if he was a suicide risk. Indeed, when he appeared in court, he seemed relaxed. But now the man at the centre of a murder case that made headlines around the world is himself dead. Clarence Mitchell, BBC News. And our legal correspondent, Joshua Rosenberg, joins me now. Joshua, when a prisoner is being held on so many serious charges, would his suicide be counted a serious failure by his jailers? Well, certainly the death of any prisoner in prison custody is a failure and uh, a very serious matter. It's not clear, as you say, how much of a, a risk he was thought to be. Uh, but short of keeping somebody under 24-hour guard, or perhaps, I suppose, issuing him with uh, paper clothing, uh, there's not a great deal that you can do if a man is determined to kill himself as perhaps appears to be the case. Now can the trials of 
Frederick West, who's dead, and his wife, who will stand trial, can they be disentangled? Will he himself now, in effect, stand trial posthumously? Well, we won't now have a trial uh, involving the three murders that he was charged with alone, his first wife, uh, his first daughter, and the children's nanny. Uh, but Mrs. West stands uh, to face the charges that she did, the, the nine murders that she was charged jointly, and as we've heard, uh, they should go ahead. Now, obviously, the jury will be very interested in what the Crown's case would have been against Frederick West, but the prosecution will have to prove, if the magistrate decides there's a case to answer, uh, the charges against her in her own right if they're to get the convictions that they seek. Joshua Rosenberg, thank you very much.